Hello, this is Jill, and what you have here is a little shrine to the Nintendo Entertainment System consoles. Uh, we have uh, the uh, the classic NES, Nintendo uh, uh, Entertainment System console there. We have the Super Nintendo and the Nintendo 64, and I have currently plugged into um, some Commodore monitors here, which are pretty cool. But today I want to focus on this Nintendo 64. So what I wanted to show you today is how to install these expansion packs, which um, you can install in your Nintendo 64. Now these expansion packs will expand your internal memory from the standard four megabytes of RAM or random access memory. Uh, and I'll add four more. So you go from four to eight um, megabytes of RAM. And what these do for you is it allows you to play certain games. Some games just won't run without this. Um, other games will, um, they will run, but you'll have better graphics if you put these in. And some other games um, have other components or little um, clips or uh, some you can uh, expand your play from, let's say, two uh, multiplayers to four multiplayers, etc. Others have different things you can do. They'll still run, but you just can't do everything. But uh, like one game, uh, Majora's Mask here, Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, cannot run at all without the expansion pack. Uh, this little scratched up disc is Donkey Kong um, 64, and this cannot run without this expansion pack. And um, commonly, especially the 64 here in the United States, um, if you bought it new, it came with one of these expansion packs. Today, these expansion packs uh, you can get on eBay or Amazon for, let's say, $20 or $25. So they're not cheap, but if you want to play these games, you really do need them. So first, I just want to plug in uh, my Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask and show you what happens when I turn this thing on. I turned it on, and I don't know if you could read this, but uh, let's see, maybe that one's a little bit better. Uh, N64 expansion packs not installed, and this is required for this particular game. So this won't even run without this expansion pack. Okay, so now I have a Star Wars Episode One Racer uh, cartridge in there, and let me show you what happens when I turn this one on. And just initially, it gives you a message saying that uh, that you really need the expansion pack. You could run the game without the expansion pack, but uh, all the features, let's say the high graphics, you can't really see without the expansion pack. So that's another message you might see. Again, it'll play, but the graphics won't be as, as good. So how do you install the expansion pack? Well, you'll notice this little port right up on top here. Now that's the memory um, expansion port. And if you just pop this off, just like this, It'll come up cover, and you can tell right away that uh, this this uh, particular game has never had the expansion pack installed. What you see here is the jumper pack, and it basically does basically nothing. It just kind of connects uh, some of the memory jumper uh, connections. I'm not quite sure what it does, but if you remove this, the game still won't run because it kind of jumps. Um, it allows um, memory to access the machine. Uh, however, if you remove this and replace it with the expansion pack, it'll run. But uh, without either the jumper pack or the expansion pack, uh, your game won't run. So just note that. And you can tell it's never been removed because it still has the original sticker. So we should uh, first uh, kind of cut this bond with the sticker first. Okay, so let's see if we can do this. I'm just going to use a little knife here, carefully with one hand, kind of break the seal. and just cut this little sticker off. It's kind of hard to remove the sticker, so it's better just to cut it just like that. And then what I'm gonna do is if I lost it here, I'll be right back. I'm gonna take a butter knife. Now, uh, if you originally bought a um, Donkey Kong 64, for instance, that came with an expansion pack, it comes with a little tool that helps to do this, but really, you can use a really small screwdriver or even a butter knife to just kind of pry in the back here and sort of just push and kind of pop it out just like that and then you pull it up and this is the jumper pack 
and you can kind of look inside there. And now for the expansion pack. Now again, this is what it looks like. It has this little uh, lip here, this little shelf. Now this kind of comes in the front of the game. So you don't want to install it backwards like this. So you want to install it forward. And we're just going to stick it in here and just push it down. And there you have it. So let's just go ahead and close up the lid. Nice and clean. Let's stick in our game and see what happens. Oh, before I uh, continue, I'm, I'm going to uh, keep this jumper pack. I'm not going to throw it away uh, in the event I want to um, switch off or maybe even sell this expansion pack one day. I'll have the jumper pack just in case. Or sometimes you can buy a used uh, Nintendo 64 and sometimes they don't come with these jumper packs. So having these on hand are is a good thing. Okay, go ahead and put in Majora's Mask back in. Aim at our little screen and let's see what happens. And it seems to be working now. Wait a second. And there we go. So it does work. The expansion pack is operating normally. And we're good for uh, some gaming. So just to be clear, now the expansion pack is different from the controller pack that you can also buy. This is the Nintendo 64 uh, controller here. And on the bottom you have this little slot here. Now this is a little memory slot and this is a, an actual uh, controller pack here that um, goes inside uh, the controller just like this. But um, that is basically to help store uh, information about the game, let's say your game score, etc. That doesn't really have to do with the memory of the machine itself. It's just basically a storage device for your games and your um, your personal information, your profiles, etc. So that's a little bit different, so don't get confused with those, those two. But I hope this uh, video helped you out. I will see you next time, and happy gaming. Bye-bye.